So here we're looking at the function block screen of our Delta V DCS system. In this case, we're looking at a field bus loop. So right here, you see three function blocks, um, analog input, PID, and output. And these are actually foundation field bus instruments. This happens to be a Rosemount 3095 that's measuring differential pressure. That goes into a PID block, and that goes into an analog output block. And uh, we're actually doing right now the PID function inside the transmitter which is why when you see on the screen down below it says PT Schuyler, PT Schuyler. Schuyler is the name of the student who set up this transmitter and those labels tell you these function blocks are being implemented in that transmitter. Over here it says PV Ken. Well, that's our pressure control valve and the student's name is Ken that set that one up. So that one function block is happening inside the valve and these two function blocks are being executed inside the transmitter. What I want to show you right now is the live display of pressure that's being measured here, as well as status. One of the important concepts in Foundation Field Bus is that every signal that is communicated between blocks has not only a value, a numerical value, but also a status that goes along with it. So I want you to pay close attention here to the number we see coming out of the analog block. That's the same one going into the cascade input of the PID. You can see the number right there. And then you can also see that appear down here where it says out. And just to the right of it, in this column, it says online status value. You notice how the status keeps switching between good and uncertain. Here's good non-cascade, and then in a moment it probably switched to uncertain. And the reason it's doing that is because we've configured the range of that uh, transmitter signal to be 0 to 250 inches of water. Right now it's not measuring anything at all and just the noise that occasionally pops up is driving that signal occasionally in the negative direction. When it goes negative, that is below its ranged value, 0 to 250, and so it flags an alert, a status saying, hey, I'm not really certain about this. It's going outside of the range we would expect. So this is an indication of what's going on in a field bus instrument when you have status attached to the number. And you'll see again when that pops negative, that turns a blue color up here with a question mark. And then over here it will say um, uncertain. We just got to wait for the noise. There we go, uncertain. It's blue, question mark. So you see the range actually showing up there. Uh, sorry, not the range, but the status showing up there telling us it's out of range.